I wake up every day and I'm unhappy. This is not fashion for me. This is a lifestyle for me. This is passion. So is it going to grow? It's not going to grow because I'm getting old. But do I still have passion for it? Yes. But will, it, will I continue this business? So you had Oak Club. This is the first original branch. We used to have like three branches. The two branches we closed down, so now there's only one branch. This is, we moved here for about 2018. So we've been here for about five years now. Actually, we, you know, I didn't start it. I didn't want it to do the restorations. I just had the service department just doing, installing the parts that I sell. But then, you know, I have all these lift, all these tools just because I want my mechanics to fix my car. I do a lot of stuff on my cars and I want my mechanics to do, you know, to fulfill my own needs. I guess when like the end users, they saw what I did to my car. They just I keep asking me to do it for them. And now we expand so much. I think we owe so many cars. I don't think I would be finished by 55 because I'm almost 50 now, so. I'm just a car guy. I'm, I was a car fanatic since I was little, since I was a teenager, since I was a maybe 12, 13 years old. So I've been driving since I was 14, 13, 14 years old, you know, without a driver license back then. So I started because I went to Tokyo Auto Salon in 1998 for the first time. And then when I saw a product called Defi, the meters, I really liked it. I wanted to buy just to install in my car. But then the, the, the Defi company themselves asked if I wanted to sell for them. So that's how I opened up Oak Club. So we expand more and more. We started importing like other brands as well. And in 2003, I started playing around with Hondas. I, I, I didn't want to sell Spoon at first because uh, I didn't know anything about Honda back then. Then Ichisang, the spoon owner, Ichisima-san, he asked me if I want to sell his parts. He asked me to like try it, you know, try to sell his parts. So we tried it. The first five years, I think, was the market was slow. Until 2012, when we expo at the first international, Bangkok International Auto Salon. And since then, since 2012, never stopped. It just keeps growing, growing getting more famous, famous, and now it's like famous around the world. It's not gonna grow, because what I do is a very niche market. And what I do is I don't expand a lot, because I used to expand a lot, and it just became like, you know, I do this because this is not fashion for me, this is a lifestyle for me. This is passion. So once you expand the business so big, it won't be passion anymore, it's like, a, it will be like a business unit which I don't like. I wake up every day and I'm unhappy because it's just business unit. You know, you have to make profit, you have expenses, you have like so many staff and that wasn't the thing for me anymore. So we started to minimize back to where it started, to the core, which is like just, you know, just do things with passion. So is it gonna grow? It's not gonna grow because I'm getting old and you know, I have to quit one day. So maybe in a couple of years, you know, I'll probably stop doing it, I guess. But do I still have passion for it? Yes. But will, it, will I continue this business? I'll try my best, but I don't want to be so big. Because once it's, when it gets so big, I can't control it. So the QC try to get, tends to get like sideways. Good mechanics is hard to find nowadays. So basically we try to have like only a few mechanics, but you know, they're like the quality ones, not the quantity ones. Well, this EG was restored, was a project car for a customer. He wants to make it like spoon theme. So we basically put every single spoon part that's available. And uh, we restore it to the point that it's 70%, 80% new because we can't get any more new parts. So sometimes we have to modify it from the used parts. So this is the best as we can do. Some of the parts now for the 90s cars are so hard to find and they're so expensive. We have certain budgets that we have to like keep. We can't go over that budget. We have to be real realistic about it. I mean, this is, over, this is already over the budget, so. Yeah, well, anyway, um, I'm just a simple guy. But thank you anyway, when I travel to like Malay or 
Singapore, you know, a lot of people know me because a lot of you guys came down during Bangkok Auto Salon and I always have a big booth. But this year, unfortunately, due to my uh, personal circumstances, um, I couldn't have a booth at the Bangkok Auto Salon, but we have a lot of visitors coming over. So thank you anyways. So you can just, you know, visit, drop by. Ever, if you ever been in Bangkok, just, you can drop by my shop. You guys are always welcome if you're a car guy, you know. If I'm here, I'm here. I'm always here, basically. I don't go anywhere anyway, so. All right, thanks anyway. Oh.